Within this tattered teddy bear is not stuffing, but a living, breathing human. He's talking. Eyes are like just cameras. 100 mile an hour slip and slide. Oh, what the fuck ever? Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Bryce is Right. I hope y'all have all had a great freaking week so far. Y'all know I brought that creepy and freaky. About to have your head spinning, mind blown, and you're gonna be rethinking your reality in no time. But before we get started, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any future content. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know what's up. Other than that, I mean, it's time to dive right in, y'all. Let's get it. Oh. That lightning. That lightning just took that building out. Or whatever that is. Is that a rock or a tree? I don't know. That's different. Whatever it is, it got made. We do talk to each other. Oh my gosh. He's talking. I wasn't crazy. No. This bird is talking. We do talk to each other. What hmm. the heck? If it flies, it spies. Yeah. We do talk to Man, I don't know where he's been, but... What else could it say? I don't know. Been at the you party. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. Check, check, check it out. The bird is actually... It is talking, I swear to God. We have video. Listen. Oh! <laughs> he's so... Cute. Is it real? I don't know. Is, is it like... Is it real? Because that's a pretty good moving robot. What? Why is a bird? Yes. Hey, you guys are watching Bird Up. Ah! Say something. Are you afraid of me? That's a real bird. Wait. It's like saying something to talk about. Look, its eyes look Ew, like it cameras. Peed. Its eyes look like cameras. Wait, Come it on. Just peed. It just pooed. You know, cameras look like eyes. It's like, let me fool yeah, you real quick. Wrong. All right, we gotta go, guys. This is getting oh. weird. <laughs> Careful, Willow. Okay, yeah, I was scared of him. Like, dude, get out of here. Well, hmm. oh my god, holy shit, what the fuck is that? Oh my god, holy shit. The following is a part of an unreleased interview with Fitz before he went missing. Initially, when I said I didn't have the footage, uh, it was because we thought, you know, just for our safety, it wouldn't be good to put it out there that we had it. Uh, but eventually, some, you, you know, bad people found out that we did. I don't know how, um, but they did. And things kind of went downhill from there. But we've already been planning... Uh, a release of the footage because um, a lot of other stuff happened that night that people don't know about. Since that night, something weird has been happening to my body. Uh, I keep throwing up. Um, I, I have no idea what's happening. Probably in shock. But that's different. Hmm. <clears throat> I 
so she had a lot of notifications. Ghost baby or a glitch like her. It's really creepy. Dang, that looks a lot like a baby. Watching that shallow howl in the background, I see. A strange glitch. I mean, I just wonder what people thought it was, like, right? How they were giving her a hard time. I don't know, some people just don't have thick skin, though. Oye, pero ¿y la gente no se ha dado cuenta? No. ¿Te acuerdas? Se nos come todo. Salimos arrancando. ¡Cuidado! Oh, that was swimming over there by the kids, huh? Oh, yeah. Dios mío. That was either, either traveling in a pack or that was a humongous. Look at that. What the heck is this? That thing is tall, whatever it is. Is that a screen? Oh, is like a flag? Maybe it's going behind a plane? I don't know. I think that's just a hill. Bullshit everybody else, but he ain't fooling me. Whoa. Look, like he was just wearing a suit, right? No, lower it down, lower it down. You dumb as fuck, and I lower my fucking window. You can stop. This creepy video comes from the unknown on TikTok. I'll tag them below. And one night, while urban exploring, they decide to use the Ranonautica app to see if they can find something paranormal. And after the app takes them to a random open field, they see something they can't explain. Here's that first clip. Watch the road area, and maybe we'll see her. Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh, there's someone running. No. Someone or something started running <laughs> in the pitch dark <laughs> area. Fuck you, Lori. Am I fucking on the floor? What the is fuck? that, though? What is that? Why is someone running? No, lower it down. Lower it down. You're dumb as fuck. And I lower my fucking so window. You can stop. Like someone might be jogging? Dude, nah, fuck that, bro. There's someone running. <laughs> oh, Jeez. <clears throat> Dude, that's just too fast, though. There fa it's fast, right? Yes. Dude, go oh, it's right here, John. It's right here. <laughs> You can see what looks like something running upright incredibly fast. But what's even stranger is it seems to disappear right in front of them. They plan on doing more Ranonautica videos, so check them out and let me know what you think. Okay, hey, that's how much different. Is fine if I jump in? Uh, Jeff. A word? Oh. I agree, yeah. Okay, okay. You would okay. not okay. jump in there. Jump in. Kill more people in Africa than any other animal. Alright. Hey, okay, you do not want to mess with the hippo. I think I'll chomp you in half. He's. Definitely, yeah. Uh... Ooh, okay. Your whole cabinets in your kitchen just came off the wall. That is rough. I wonder if you had termites. Damn. 
Hmm. 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 Behind the woman, there's a young child. If you watch closely, they seem to be acting rather strangely. Is that Where the bubbles? It then looks like the child begins to walk up the stairs. However, as the woman moves to the side, the child has vanished. <laughs> While some might argue that the child's movement was simply obscured behind the woman as she moved as well, there's one small detail that the description mentions. There were no children at the birthday party. This is a picture, according to some observers, that are scientific in NASA's um, universe shows a thousand mile long alien mothership from Jupiter. I beg your pardon? A lot See, of observers are saying mile? a thousand mile long spaceship Wait. or it's something that's standing still in front of Jupiter and it's not an asteroid. It's nothing they could figure out. And some people are saying either we don't know what it is. And some people are saying it might be an alien mothership. 1,000 mile long? A thousand mile long mothership that's, that's happening. Hey, imagine this, walking that. Just, aliens probably have hoverboards, I imagine. <laughs> Why did they put the food court on the other end? <laughs> Why the, would they not put it in the middle? They got the bird scooters. Yeah. <laughs> you know how all of our technology is nowhere near there right yeah what if like their minimal technology is like like they can't reach our like toilet paper technology Dude, I like they don't know how to make fire <laughs> that would be <laughs> that's what we got on them. we can shoot lasers and hover it's like we have fire what is that <laughs> evacuate it's s'mores that's know. how we lure them in yeah what were we saying i have no idea man <laughs> alien mothership thousand, thousand mile long that's funny that's a long spaceship I have to be almost like structured from their planet, right? Oh, wow. How did that happen? What? Hmm. Oh, yeah. There is poop on the floor. Somebody pooped there and then they drop. I shit myself in Walmart today. That's terrible. Get your shit together. They just jumping in like we don't care that there's alligators over there. That's crazy. Like, yeah, y'all are a different breed. But I have been sent to the hospital over a roller skating accident at the skating rink. Got hit in the face. Bye, skate. I'm gonna speed skating fast and. When you're ready. Yeah, needs more explanation than that one now. This is so cool. It's about to happen. Are you ready? Oh! Oh, that is weird. So cool. Mesmerizing. Oh wow. I've officially seen it all. <laughs> all right, I can die now. Huh. The camera was having a hard time picking it up. It looked like. But it said, I found it. I found paradise. <laughs> he said, don't call him. I'm leaving. All right, time to test my newly built computer. Let's see it. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff. Uh oh. Wait, what? Yo. 
Hey bro, check. Alright, time to test my newly built computer. See, I, I'm not convinced that this is a planet. What do y'all think about this? I think it's a glare. I mean, it is weird how the spots go through it, but still. That's definitely a glare. because they thought like, people are believing this is a planet like we got to do something because it's definitely within not. this tattered teddy bear is not stuffing but a living breathing human a prisoner of a heinous charade early 2000s savannah martha and eugene grimes a couple revered for fostering children and aiding the needy harbored dark secrets in their sprawling victorian home guests seeking refuge were sedated by the grimes and forcibly stitched into animal costumes turned into unwilling performers for a perverse entertainment. The Grimes' grotesque charade continued undetected for 18 years, the truth hidden by the couple's veneer of generosity and community spirit. The horrors were unearthed in 2022 when a former foster child, triggered by the game Five Nights at Freddy's, recalled the trauma, leading to a shocking investigation. As the investigation deepened, mm. authorities uncovered a mass grave mm. on the property's yeah, outskirts. Amidst the overgrowth, many victims were found, still grotesquely bound within their costume prisons. I saw this dude give a story on TikTok where he went to Bluff City, Utah. He's like, I don't believe in this whole simulation. But what I experienced there had me question if we're in a simulation. He said, every place I went, we were at this hotel and then we went to a grocery store and then a restaurant. People were weird acting. They were like not expecting someone to come in. He went to the, the hotel clerk and he said, hey, can we get some towels uh, for our room? She's like, oh, actually, I don't know where they're at. This is my first day on the job. What? And then he went to the store. Something wasn't working. <gasps> Weird. And she's like, I'm so sorry. This is my first day on the job. Weird. And then he went to a restaurant and the card wasn't working. He's, and she's like, I don't actually know how to work this machine. Mm. This is my first day on the job. <gasps> feel like a Truman Then show. another guy who duetted it, he stopped in Bluff City and he saw this hitchhiker girl walking on the side of the road. He said 30 miles down, the same girl. Stop it. Was right walking. Now. I think I saw something similar to that. But like, it always reminds me of the Truman Show. There's got, there's got to be a civilization or a community that's pulled that off or done that in the past. No matter yeah. how terrible it is. Something's happened. North Korea. Like that. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, doesn't mean we're living in a simulation, but makes you want to believe it for sure. Hurry up. What is he trying to kill up there? Oh, oh I bet you that hurt. He said, "Still, get out of here." Like what? Does that whenever it's about to storm outside? But not that. Yep. You got ghosts. Breaking news all around the world. If you don't know what's going on, you are gonna want to watch this. Trust me. Make sure you share this video with a friend because if they miss this, well, it's literally a once in a lifetime opportunity, so you won't see it again. And for that matter of fact, neither will your grandkids or great great grandkids, most likely. So in the movies, you see photos like this, which looks like a break in time and space, and it's incredible. I mean, it's like a wormhole opening. You wouldn't ever see that on Earth, right? Well, normally, no, but this is actually a supernova explosion, which is pretty damn rare, and it's happening soon, but not like a normal one. What do you mean? 
So, supernova explosions happen roughly every 80 to 90 years, so still, even that's rare, but they typically aren't visible to the naked eye. You'll need some kind of telescope or to look very, very deeply into the distance, and it's not going to be clear. Now, the last time we saw one was 1987, and the time before that, when it was actually visible to the naked eye, was 1604. Are you mad? Now, they are saying this is literally a -a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because, as I say, it is just that rare. You are never going to get another Mm. chance like this again. Like, look, this is what they said. Typically, Novas are so faint and far away, you can't even see them. But this one will be really, really close, and everybody from on Earth will be able to see if you look up. And yeah, it will literally look like space is breaking or it's a Fortnite event. So yeah. Now, we don't know exactly when it's happening. They said anywhere from now until September. But in breaking news in the last couple of days, they've said it's going to be visible in the next few days or weeks. So a lot sooner than we actually expect it. Make sure you hit that follow button. I will keep you updated. I hope someone gets that on camera. It'd be hard, you know, if we're spinning. This is the 100 mile an hour slip and slide. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way someone's riding that. They're dying. Be careful. Uh-oh. See, dude, there's nothing out here. It's just all in your head. <laughs> That's funny. A man and a child tried to take a picture with a sea lion on the coast, oh, but that animal quickly let them know they were too close. Yeah, yeah this video is from the La Jolla Cove. The man tried to sit the child on the rocks within just a few feet of oh, that no. sea lion. You do not do that. That is the dumbest thing you could do. You Like, oh, I do CrossFit. I could take on that sea lion. Like, no. Like, he, that, mm. That dude deserves to smack upside his freaking face. Like, be smarter than that. That's your little, mmm, idiot. And you can see oh. how big that animal is. Yeah. Uh, the animal didn't like it, obviously. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says taking photos with sea lions or seals up close is illegal, for one thing. Lock his ass up. You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail. jail. Instead, you're supposed to be quiet and stay out of sight and 50 yards away from marine mammals because they can bite for one Come thing. On. So you don't want to disturb them. Yeah, you want to respect yeah. their space. That's pretty close. Oh, oh, what are you thinking, Dad? Close. Come on. Yeah. Nothing between you and the, ch- you know, the. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing between. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. There's Dad talking. That's, a, that's, that's there right. he is, Mark. <sighs> I wouldn't be it's down giving there. Giving you anxiety. It just is. It us. is. Yes, yeah. I understand. Oh, yeah, he's barking at that. Glad he's okay. saying, stay away, stay please. Away if you look at the cloud formation, this is something you should look at. You see the little breaks in the cr- cloud? It's not a full cloud? Yeah. It's the, pr- it's the, uh, pr- precipitation in the, uh, in the Miami area. We'll put it like right here. Now we'll go more this way. Yeah, we're about 19 miles away. We're about 19 miles. Um, and that's something to look for when you what look in the, the in the cracks of the cloud. Talk- this one guy that does it around the world, and he is spot on like this. You know, within 19 miles of everywhere, like where it is. Yeah, I don't know. I think I bet they get like just like a feeling, and it just kind of hits that antenna. Talking about a it's video impressive. lasting over a minute was filmed by British researchers during a geological want more, survey let me know. in the Indian Ocean. When the autonomous robot was lowered more than 1,100 meters deep into the seabed, it unexpectedly encountered a peculiar shaped creature swimming in front of it. According to observations, this creature has a black body and a fairly symmetrical shape, resembling two axes fused together. While people were still speculating about what kind of creature it was, suddenly it transformed into a spherical shape with multiple glowing veins of surreal colors attached to a soft Hmm. and flowing lower body like a piece of silk fabric. Not stopping there, after a few seconds of swimming in front of the camera, this creature suddenly darted away then separated its body into two distinct pieces before disappearing into the dark water. It is known that this is a rare and unique video footage of this mysterious creature captured up to the present time, and its identity is yet to be determined. Hmm. You like, bro? Nah, I'm good. Look, 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 at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. When my firework went up in the sky, this is what I seen. Yes, you are. <laughs> 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 
I've never seen a lot of squirrels. Where the hatch has spawned in! Okay. I see that. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that's perfect. Or did all the pine cones. Have you already seen this video? Land straight up. Do you guys see this, like, line in my pool? Because, like, if I go to touch it, there's nothing there. It's, like, not a piece of hair. But it's, like, this line. Huh? I know I'm not crazy. What is that? I don't know what the fuck this is. Rolling around in this water. There ain't nothing there. But you don't see anything. I went away. And then it just stopped. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Literally, dolphins are evil. Yes, and this video is going to be your annual reminder that dolphins are just gross little demons that run around. Now, the first thing, dolphins kill for fun, just like cats. Only with dolphins, they specifically love beating the shit out of babies. Male dolphins have been known to go on killing sprees, just going around beating the shit out of any baby dolphin they see, or anything that looks like a baby dolphin, all due to pent-up sexual frustration. It's also been observed that a male dolphin... Okay. Uh, can become sexually frustrated while it's already fathering a baby, and then it will kill that baby so that the female has an excuse hmm. to mate with him. Like, imagine some piece of shit guy, like, holding his baby in front of his wife and saying, Oh, this is so beautiful. Ah, whoops, there it goes, down the stairs, and we can make more. This is weird! Now, when it comes to mating, it's really hard to do while just floating in the water if both parties aren't consenting and putting in effort. But male dolphins do not usually take rejection well and will force themselves upon the female. And a lot of the time, they actually call for help. So it's like three to four dolphins all assaulting one female. Now, similar to ducks, uh, dolphins have a corkscrew vagina. It's shaped like this to increase the difficulty of forcing a pregnancy onto the dolphin. There's a bunch of flaps and dead ends to prevent the egg from being fertilized unless both parties are aligning themselves. Now, dolphins have actually been used by the Navy. They've been trained to sniff out sea mines, and they've also been given equipment to act as a homing device for underwater missiles. And it's also rumored that they put dolphin pussy jelly on a monkey and then it died of a heart attack because it couldn't stop coming. That rumor spawned from a post that was claiming that uh, dolphin vaginas secrete this jelly that forces males to nonstop make babies. And then the post went on to say that the military tested it on a monkey and then he couldn't stop himself and he died of a heart attack due to the stress. That <laughs> and I was sad to find that out. But similar things do happen in nature, like with the Antichirus, this weird little mouse thing. Now, these weird little mouse things, the males, uh, during mating season, they will produce these natural steroids that make them stronger, give them more stamina, so that for two weeks straight, they can mate with every female that they see. And with each female that they partner up with, they can go for like 14 hours at a time, and that, over the course of two weeks, causes so much stress due to the constant pumping of steroids and muscle use that they just fucking die. Mating season has a 100% mortality rate for the male population of these things. So yeah, nature is cruel and weird. People are stealing new Hyundais and Kias with a Nintendo Game Boy. I'm sure most of you remember hearing about the Kia Boys, the group that went viral back in, what, 2022 for showing how easy it was to steal certain Hyundai and Kia models by using a USB cable. Well, now there is a new way to get the job done that's becoming more popular, and it's called the Game Boy Method. Thieves purchase a device that looks like an old Game Boy, but in reality, it's an expensive and advanced key fob emulator. The way it works is when thieves approach the target vehicle and wake it up by doing something like, you know, touching the door handle, the car emits a signal, and what it's doing is it's looking for the actual key fob, but instead, the emulator that's been installed inside the Game Boy case takes over, and it tricks the car into thinking that it's the legitimate key fob. From my understanding, wow. it basically works like a brute force hack, cycling through multiple codes in seconds until it hits the right one that unlocks the car. You can see just how fast it works in the video below. It's, I mean, it's wild. I remember That's this scary. being an issue a few years back with Mitsubishis in England, but the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6 have apparently become the newest targets. And I think owners should know. If you live somewhere that this could be an issue, remember that, you know, steering wheel locks do still work. The good news is that the device costs upwards of twenty to $30,000, which is certainly a hefty investment for the average would-be car thief. Stop it. 
That's crazy. I wonder how they're going to get around that. Remember that mysterious monolith that appeared in Australia a couple days ago? Well, someone's finally decoded it. A lot of people have suggested that it was related to an anime called One Piece, or a reference to the villain from this short story. But the real answer is even weirder. A cryptography student decided to draw all of these symbols out. At first, it kind of just looks like gibberish, but if you line up all of these bars, you start to see some symbols repeat themselves. This is the Zodiac speaking. And that's a good indication that these symbols are code for something in English. The student then assigned all the symbols a letter and put it into a cryptogram solver, went through all 47 combinations for this group of letters, and immediately you start seeing that these symbols most likely represent numbers. And sure enough, if you try to match each group of letters to a certain number, you end up with this. What it leads to or who put it there is still a mystery. Hmm. Hey guys, you gotta watch this video. This guy hits a home run and then throws the bat up. And it stays up for a really long time. I got a timer going right here. And it stays up for 11.83 seconds. I got two words to say to you, ladies and gentlemen. Jada Pinkett. They're fleeing the entire galaxy, hiding in caves from Jada Pinkett. You understand? What the fuck are you talking about, man? I don't know what to do. I thought it was a great I thought it was a great trade when I traded Jada Pinkett, but all we're doing is taking on refugee after refugee after refugee. She might as well work for the World Economic Forum. <laughs> This is what a bed and fox looks Legit. like. And people say that this is what it looks like when you try to draw a fox from memory. You never get the proportions right. I wouldn't even get that close. It would look, look like a rat if I tried to draw it. It almost looks like a mermaid, doesn't it? They say it's some kind of cryptid. Too bad they don't have a drone to fly it down there. That's crazy. You'd be shocked to know that the sudden ringing or buzzing in your ears isn't just a random distraction. It's actually the number one sign your spiritual guides are trying to send you a message. That's right. That high-pitched noise out of nowhere might be far more significant than you ever imagined. In just 60 seconds, I will explain what this might mean and why it's not something you should ignore. This ringing or buzzing, while it might be startling at first, is often your guide's way of getting your attention. They're signaling their presence, reassuring you that you're not alone, no matter what you're facing. It's their way of saying, hey, we're here with you. But what else could this be about? Often, this sound indicates that something energetic is happening around you, something you can't see but is very real and impactful. This could mean an energetic clearing is taking place, or perhaps you're being influenced by someone else's energy without even realizing it. Moreover, this ringing serves as a reminder to be more aware of your thoughts and surroundings at the moment it occurs. There's usually a message or a sign in that exact moment that you need to pay attention to. It could be related to what you're thinking, who you're with, or what you're doing. It's a prompt to tune into the subtle energies and perhaps discover a significant insight or direction you've been seeking. So next time that ringing starts, take a beat to really consider what's happening in your life at that moment. What are your thoughts focused on? What emotions are you experiencing? This isn't just a coincidence, it's a potential message waiting to be uncovered. This ringing can be considered a call to action to connect deeper with your spiritual journey and to listen closely to what the universe might be trying to tell you through these mysterious frequencies. Have you ever experienced ringing in your ears that seem to come out of nowhere? What do you think your guides were trying to tell you at that moment? Share your oh. stories and experiences in the... Hey, thank y'all so much for tuning in to another Bryce's Ride. Y'all hey, all have a great freaking week. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any future content. And definitely leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know what's up. Other than that, like I said, we'll be seeing y'all next time. Y'all have a great week. All right, y'all. Peace.
Save the children! Save the children! <clears throat>